Today we're looking at Luminite King. So this is a technology from Luminous. These are cameras that can see in complete darkness. So we isolated ourselves on a farm right now. And as you can see, we see absolutely nothing. So yeah, let's see how this camera works. Not only nighttime cameras are becoming quite popular, they're becoming quite good at figuring out the colors in the scene, even in complete darkness. As you saw in this demo, the grass was green, the fence was white, and the subject was wearing black clothes. So this is something you cannot really do with IR cameras. It's black and white, so yes, you're able to understand that an intruder came by, but you're not able to give those additional details that can make a difference. So using the Lumin Night King technology, this is how you can leverage all of this. And in today's video, as I mentioned, we're looking at two different models, the N40 4VA2 and the N4B 4VA2, which are two different models from Luminous. So one uh, turret camera and one bullet camera that we tested. But before we go into the demos to show you how they work, let's actually understand how this technology works. So there are four things that really drive nighttime color. First is the aperture of the camera, which is represented by the f-stop. You have the size of your sensor, the shutter speed, and also AI. First, we'll look at the aperture. The aperture refers to the opening inside of your camera that lets the light in. So the lower the number, the more light can get in your camera, helping create these colors at night. So when we look at the specs, it reflects like this. So on the N40, you have colors 0.006 at f1.0. So that means that with the size of aperture, so when it's at this biggest opening, you only need this amount of light or lux to create colors at night. As a reference point, you've probably seen the starlight technology before. So starlight refers to the light emitted by the stars at night which is equal to about 0.001 so when compared with lumi night king technology like they need 40 percent less light about to be able to create colors at night so it's not something that is negligible and it kind of sets the tone about this technology so next when your opening is wide open the light comes in it goes on your sensor and this is what i like to call the light bucket so the bigger the sensor bigger your light bucket well, the more light it can intake and all during nighttime. So it really helps to create those color at night. So when your opening is smaller from the aperture, not much light can get in. So a big aperture with a big sensor, there's a lot of light that can stay here and really help create this image. When we're talking about shutter speed, so this is how long it takes for each frame to gather light. So if you go slower, well, it will create a more brighter image, but it can create some motion blur. If you go faster, better image, but then the image can get really dark. And lastly, the AI ISP from Lumi Night King. So it's not magic, it's more like a color correction process from the AI. So it really helps recreate the colors, reducing the amount of noise in the picture. So it takes the image from the daytime and kind of recreate those colors in the nighttime. So that's why you have such vivid colors at night. Now that we understand how the technology works, let's see at some demos to see it in live action. So first off, we're looking at daytime footage for you to understand the environment we're working with. So there's a lot of different details. You, you have a pig, you have a dog, and you have me on the screen. And as you can see, I'm wearing a red hat, I have dark clothes, and the camera that we're using on the farm is the N40, so the turret from Luminous, and it's installed 15 feet high. Now, I'm walking around, uh, I started the position at about 30 feet, and now I'm about at 40 feet. And as you can see, colors are clear, nothing new here, it's daytime, it's easy to identify the subject. And now it's nighttime. So again, we're using the N40, which has two white lights LEDs that can go all the way up to 100 feet. When we're looking at the bullet, it has four white light LEDs that can go up to 150 feet. So in that scenario, with the white lights, you're still able to see a lot of things. And that's what I like about this, right? It's all the details you're able to capture. So you can see that I have 
two different color shoes. I have a red hat, I'm wearing dark clothes. So it really reflects what we were seeing during the daytime. So not much of a difference, even though, for example, if I pause here, I'm about at uh, 60 feet from the camera. And even if I go all the way back to the back fence, which is about 100 feet, you're still able to see a person and really kind of identify his clothes. Again, this is the turret camera. So the Dory distance, so the, um, detect, observe, recognize, and identify is something you can see on the spec sheet. But it's not meant to really identify someone so far away. But the, the nice thing is that even if the person is far away, you're still able to identify the clothes it's wearing, even though it's really dark outside. So just using the white lights. And if you close the white lights, well, this is what you get. So same distance, same attire, but with a red cloth, so you're still able to see those different colors. And the reason we installed it on a farm like this one is actually to not disturb the animals. And this is a common situation, is that animals sleep at night, so you don't want to have too much light to disturb their sleep. So that's why many farmers will go and use these types of camera. They used IR in the past, but now that this technology exists, it's a good alternative for them to really be able to identify the intruder. And again, so this is maybe a more specific case of installation for this camera. So we also install it on a residential settings to kind of mimic how it would be in front of a business. So where there can be some ambient light that your camera can use to really help identify the person in front of the camera. So here is the camera footage from the residential install. We'll put on my phone so you can see on my phone how dark it is. You only have the lights from the neighbors. So still, it's, it's pretty impressive to be able to capture all these colors in complete darkness. As you can see, the, you have a blue bin behind me. You have a brown bin on the left side corner and you can also see the different cards. So the power of using such cameras is that yes, you can capture colors at night, but you can mix it with the AI of the camera. So as you can see here, there's a teal box around me. So that does person detection. So I move back to 10 feet, 15 feet, and you're still able to follow along the person movement. Not only that, but you're able to identify the details that I mentioned previously. So the color of my hat, now you see the yellow box is identifying the car that is next to me. Uh, here, I open my phone for a little bit of light for myself. And still, if I move back to about 25 feet here, the camera still follows me, so I still have this teal box around me. And here, another nice feature is actually the motion trigger events that you can configure on your camera. So I'm, I'm coming by and you see that now the line crossing that we made turned red and you also have a red box around. You. So for monitoring purposes, being able to identify the colors of the intruder, which is different from an IR camera where it's just black and white, having those motion triggered events. So going back to the timeline, you're really able to find what happened and have all those details. So again, this makes a big difference when we're talking about monitoring because it saves you time. And when you need to report a case, well, just going to the timeline, clicking on there, you're able to identify the individual and do your report in a complete form rather than having some partial information and then trying to piece out the different details to really understand what happened. It's not easy to find unbiased help when you're looking for a solution for your project. Most manufacturers think they have the best solution, but this is where People Systems comes in. We're a team of security experts that are here to help you. So if you're looking for access control or video intercoms, or if you're contemplating the idea of buying a two megapixel for your AI analytics, send us an email at admin at people systems and we will help you make the right decision. And if you decide to get a solution showcased on this channel, remember to use the affiliate link in the descriptions below. This is the best way you can support the channel and this helps us make us more detailed guides for you, more case studies, so you're really able to see our product work. All right, back to the video. So Luminous is giving us a great example on how this technology keeps evolving. So, and 
I'm quite excited to see with AI how they can improve in that sense. Because even speaking with installers, they, they still cannot understand how we can really improve because it's complete darkness. There is no light, as I explained before, to use to create those colors. So it's really all about AI. So the more AI becomes advanced, the more chance we have to really be able to create those colors and reduce the amount of noise when there is a lot of action because as we saw in the farm where there is no ambient light whatsoever, when there is movement, it's harder to really identify the person that is running. Yes, you're able to see the details, but who knows? Maybe in a couple of years, you'll be able to clearly see a space even in complete darkness. All right, guys, I'm Jeremy from People Systems. See you on the next one.